So now we're gonna grill some beautiful black gill rockfish. I salted the fish, let it sit for 10 or 12 minutes, and then rinsed it. The next step is to, and this is a, a very important step no matter what kind of fish you're grilling, but is to open up the, skill, the scales of the fish like this with the backside of the knife and then bring them back to you like that. By closing the scales down like this, it creates more of a barrier for the flesh of the fish, the delicate flesh of the fish. And the other thing is you get all that liquid out of the scales and off the skin, which will help you get a crisper final product. So we'll just remove that from the knife. And then here I have a little bit of house-made mayonnaise. And anytime you grill fish, I suggest you do this. I like to tell people it should be a whisper of mayonnaise. It serves to keep the fish from sticking to the grill, and that's all it does. And then normally, you know, you would season the fish with salt and pepper. We've already seasoned this fish, so we don't need to worry about that. I have a nice, like, hot grill here. We've cleaned the grates of the grill uh, with a brush and then oiled the grates of the grill. And we won't need to worry about the fish sticking. That's the wonderful part about using the mayo. So if the skin wants to curl up like that, this is what we do. We have these little fish weights. They're pretty heavy. They're like, they're a half a pound each. Just put them on the spots of the fillet where it's starting to curl and it'll help the, the, the fish kind of like lay down flat. In order to encourage the fish to cook on both sides while we're grilling it, I like to cover it like that. What it does is it, it uh, gathers the heat so that the fish is kind of cooking on the skin and on the flesh side. You'll notice like too, I'm not like pulling, picking the fish up and turning it 40 to high degrees and trying to get perfect grill marks. Grilling's not about that. Grilling's about imparting flavor. And cooking it like this, a little bit slower uh, and covered like this, will really bring out the flavor that the charcoal has to impart to the fish. Brush a little bit of butter on the fish while it's on the grill. If you just do a little bit, it just kind of gives the fish a little bit more flavor. So here, this is what I always tell people. Like if you want to be a better fish cook, invest 99 cents in one of these. So this is a cake tester, but you can use it when you're grilling fish to determine doneness. So at this point right now, because the only part of this fish that's really cooked is the tail, but if I use this thing and I put it right here, it'll just pass right through the fish, all the way to the other side. But if I do the same thing here in the middle, it won't pass through because the fish is undercooked in the center. Now, we do want the fish undercooked to a certain degree, but we don't want it too undercooked. And then um, just to cook the other side of the fish just a little bit, first I'm gonna brush this side with a little bit of butter. I'm gonna put it right there, just like that. What you should take from this as a home cook is the idea that to cook fish well, it takes attention. Like you need, you don't just throw it on the grill and then walk away. Like you throw it on the grill and you watch it and you care for it and you kind of nurture it to the point where it's perfectly done. That's the most important thing to learn about fish cookery. You know, people just convince themselves that they're, they're not good fish cooks. But the truth is, is like, it's really, it's not that hard. Uh, and if you learn a few simple techniques, you can actually become a really proficient fish cook in a short period of time. And one of the most important tips that I can give you is allow the fish to rest. We just exposed it to just enough heat where it'll cook to the point where it's just, as the French say, a point, and not overcooked and not undercooked. So now what we need to do is just give this fish a couple minutes to rest. I mean, that's how the fish looks on the inside. Just, just barely done. It's super juicy, super moist, very crispy skin, lots of flavor from the charcoal. There's not a lot of fish that have this kind of flavor. 